Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Sunday, June 16th, Father's Day 2024. And we'll see how easy this one is. Traditionally, Sunday has typically been the easiest of the days, although in cases such like this one where I have a 9 given to me in all three rows, that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the grid will be easy. But I can place a 5 in row 2, box 2. And that's all I get. In the middle rows, oh, I can place a 6 in box 6 immediately, which I also could have done by looking at the right columns. On the bottom three rows, I get an 8 in row 8, box 9. I'm going to get a 2 in row 7, also in box 9. But 1, 3, 8, 7, 1, 3, 7, 5, 6, otherwise, so I'm done. If I look by columns, 9, 4, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have everything but 1 and 3. I can't do anything with it. In the middle, I've got 9, 2, 7, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 1's the only repeat digit, which I can place in two places in column 4, box 2. And on the right, I'm going to have a 9 in two places in column 8. And that's all I get. Okay, in box 8 looks rather interesting. I've, oh, well actually I can place a 6 immediately. No, I can't. These are ruled out. This is ruled out twice. This once. So 6 is one of those two. That's on a diagonal. I've got 1, 2, 5, 7, 8. I need 3, 4, 6, and 9 in some order. This can't be 6, but could be anything else. This can't be 4, but could be anything else. And this can't be 3 or 4. Hmm. Okay, uh, column 5 looks interesting. I've got 1, 4, 5, 8. I need 2, 3, 6, 7, 9. This is going to be 2, 3, or 9. It can't be 6 or 7. Actually, none of these are 9, so... They are strictly from 2, 3, 6, 7, and that cleans up. I get nothing else useful out of it. Okay, this can't be 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. It's 1, 2, 7, 8. Okay, those are down to 9, or 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, neither of these are 4 or 9. Interesting. And that's not 3. Okay, well, those... Get Okay, so I've got a 4 placed in one of those two by filling in. That puts a 4 in one of those two in box 4. Uh, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. I just noticed in row 9 I have 5 digits. I need 1, 3, 4, and 9. But that one could be any of them. This is 1, 4, 9, but that's not 9. That two thirds of a two three six seven quad in box two. Let's see, three five six nine. I need one two four seven eight for the rest of box three, and I'm not going to have anything useful coming out of it. Those can't be one, four, six. Okay, in fact, none of those are two, seven, nine. Okay, so th these can't be one, four, six, or two, seven, nine. Three, five, eight, and that's a triple that's been given to me the, from the whole thing. 
So, three, four, this could be six, but this now can't be three. So this isn't, isn't three, and we know that's not three, so three isn't one of those two. That means neither of those are three. Let's see, three, five, eight, so this isn't three. And that's not five or eight, and that's not five or eight. So I have two different triples in box five, but two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Uh, well, uh, five has to be here, so it can't be there, so it must be here. So five in box two is placed. The remaining digits for column four are one, four, six, and they form a triple. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to look by columns here. I don't have much, <coughs> excuse me, looking by rows. Two, four, nine are already placed in column one. So five there, six, seven here, six, seven here, six, seven, and one there. So that's three fourths of a one, three, five, eight. I don't think I'll get the rest though. Not really. Nope. And I just realized there's nothing in column two. Let's see, none of these are two, three, six, nine. In column seven, box six. These aren't three, six, or nine, so they could be one, four, seven, two, five, eight. These aren't two, three, five, six. Column eight, that means nine and seven are out, nine and one are out, eight is out. Okay, these are not one, five, six, nine. That's four cells out of a two, three, six, seven, eight quintuple, but I don't have the fifth one. What I do have is eight in one of these two, but that doesn't tell me anything I don't already know because they're in the right side of box two, column six. Uh, these are not six or nine. That takes out one, two, three. Okay, these are not four, five, nine. These aren't six or seven. And these aren't two or eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I still have a candidate with seven possibilities in it, and two others with six. And now, there's two with seven, and at least two with six in column two. Hmm. 
six turns a corner, doesn't it? So does three, and we know everything else does in box two. That doesn't help me. Annoying that the nine's here. I don't even have a hidden quadruple. But these can't be three, and these can't be three. Three is actually hidden in box six. So. What does that help me with? Not much there, does it? This could still be three. Otherwise, I'd have a one, three, four, nine quad in column three, but as it is, okay, this can't be two, and these can't be two because of that. So, two in column three is limited to three places in the same region, so these are not two. Therefore, one of those must be, and that might be helpful because that means two and four are limited to the same two spots in the same region. So I immediately have a two four pair. Okay, now none of these are nine, and these now can't be nine by derived, so nine must be there in box four, which means this isn't nine, and therefore must be seven. So, row 5, column 6 is 7, and that's going to do a lot. 6, that has to be 4. I can delete those because 3, 9 is derived in column 6. This can't be 2 or 7, so it must be 8. This has to be a 1. That's now 6. This is a 4. Those are at six, and the middle columns are pretty much done. The one in row two places the two. Clean this up a little bit. The two in row six places the four in the two in column two. This can't be four. Now, so that one must be. So these aren't six, and these aren't four, and these aren't four, and those aren't four, and that's not seven, and those aren't eight, and neither of those are four, and that's not one or two. And after all that, the two in row two places the seven. which leave, oh, I'll place an 8, and then the 4. So that 3 and 7 derived did a lot of help, but the 4 in column 9 places the 1. Therefore, if these aren't 1, this isn't 1. Neither is that. 3, 9 pair in row 9 places the 4. Well, 1, 2, 3, 7. That's a quad in column uh, row 3, which will place the 6. So this is not 6. I have nothing but odd digits in column 2. Interesting. But I've got a 178 triple in column 8, that places the 9, which will place 3, 9 in column 6. That places the 3 in row 9, and thus the 1 in row 9, and thus neither of those are 1 or 3. This isn't 9. The 1 in column 3 will place the 3. 
one, seven, place an eight. This can't be seven or eight, that's a two. Seven, one, seven. This is five. That has to be eight, it can't be anything else. Uh, box nine is finished, as is box three. And two. And four. I think I have to do seven next. Seven is placed, that's a five. This has to be six, that's a nine. Okay, eight here, which means five, and these aren't five. This has to be a four to complete the row. Not one, not seven. This can't be a nine anymore. The seven in column two places one seven in row one, which places five in row four. That'll place eight five in column seven, which will unwind three eight in column four, and now we're done. In 16 minutes. So this wasn't bad once I found the hidden 7 and 3. But relatively easy enough after that, I thought. But, as usual, I put links in descriptions and let me know how you get on with it.